older people in Wisconsin are more likely to die from falls than in any other state. Stephanie Haynes shows us how Concordia University students are keeping them on their feet. We're headed to the cone and back. Concordia University physical therapy students are learning how to assess the risk of falling. Students are checking vitals and running their practice patients through a few quick tests. They sit in the chair and they walk to the cone and back and we're timing them and also assessing their quality of movement. Like are they shuffling? Are they tripping? Dr. Stacy Stolzman is getting her students ready for a free fall assessment clinic next week. Anyone 55 and older can come by and after they're screened, participants get a form they can take to their doctor. And it's just a great way to start the conversation because many older adults have fallen in the past and they're nervous about sharing that with their providers. Students like Mallory Dernbaugh see this as a way to make a difference in someone's life. The older generation, they are at a greater risk for falls and if they do fall, it's at a greater detriment to their health. According to the Centers for Disease Control, Wisconsin leads the country in deadly falls with 157 deaths per 100,000. Vermont is the second highest. And the CDC reports death rates from falls in people 65 and older went up about 30% from 2009 to 2018. It lists some of the risk factors as lower body weakness, issues with balance or vision, use of certain medication, and home hazards. So if we can identify these individuals sooner, give them tips and tricks and exercises to kind of help improve their balance and prevent these falls, uh, we can just improve their quality of life. Maybe it's their vision that needs to be addressed, or we can work on strengthening and balance, or just fix some safety issues around the house. That free clinic is right here next week on Wednesday, October 6th. There are appointments at 10 a.m. and 11 a.m., but you have to register in advance, so we have that link at TMJ4.com. Just search falls. In Mequon, Stephanie Haynes, TMJ4 News.